It's me, P. I see that. Someplace over here. Oh, here it is. T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to the bed. Hey, it's really early in the morning. What happened is I had, uh, I got the, whatever, my brother passed, you know, my older brother passed. And uh, because of that, I have been drinking this, uh, I went and started drinking some of this, uh, we call this, uh, you know, tequila. Because you have to drink straight spirits if somebody passed. You know, so, I, so now it's early morning. It's like, why is it early morning? It's like, oh, it's 2.30 in the morning. Because I went to sleep, then I woke up. And I'm still, you know, still bumped out to my brother passed. So here's a tequila thing, right? And I guess this is what you call it. Uh, let's drop this thing. I guess what you call a hair to dog. Because I'm sort of messed up. I got some uh, orange bitters. Instead of putting uh, that uh, triple stick or whatever have you, I just use bitters. And now, oh, it's no more left. Orange bitters, no more left. Oh, well, that's life. It happens that way. And uh, I'll throw this away. That's it. Oh, ice. Let me just give some ice in here. So basically, I'm just doing tequila straight. It's just basically what it is. Well, to, to kill her over ice. That's what I'm doing. But here's the thing, man. It's so messed up. Uh, I mean, my brother was like a typical black man. Like, I'm a typical black man, you know? With all the foibles and everything else like that. But the thing is, like, I'm really tired of this thing, man. This system where they come down on black men, killing black men every day. I'm just through with it, man. So, as I continue to uh, deal with my brother's, with my loss, my brother's passing, I keep on thinking about this, man. Here's my thoughts. Here's my thought. Black men. I don't care about nobody. I'm just talking about black men. When I say black men, I'm talking about ADOS. You know, American, black men who are American, that's North American, descendants of chattel slavery. That's my core people. That's who I want to talk to. That's my, my elite fighting force. Let's put it that way. That's how I should look at this. You know, I don't care about no women. I don't care about nothing like that. I'm talking specifically for a specific group of black men, right? We got to make up our minds. They're just not take it anymore. Forget this enough is enough or less. Enough. Just not take it anymore. You know, I mean, you know, it's like this, these source things like, OK, let me put it this way. This thing about so for instance, I've been involved with music all my life. Don't worry about that part. Don't, don't worry. Anyway, but what happens with music? It, it, it hits you. There's, there's certain things that hit you. It, it, it hits you. It, it makes you vibrate. It makes you move in certain directions when you hear certain music. Right. Well, everything has a core in it, and, 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 and it, in other words, hits your core. But your core is made up of things that informed you all through your informative years, right? So what am I saying? It's, it's very simple. I mean, it's like everything has an essence, and that we have to, we have to use that essence to further the species. Let's put it that way. I know it's, it's kind of confusing to you. Don't worry about this stuff. It'll come to you. Right? It'll, it'll make sense somehow, sooner or later, right? My tequila, since I'm still inebriating myself. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Does everything has a vibration, right? Did that music, a music, a music touch you because it has a certain vibration? Well, people touch you also because they have a certain vibration. And they want, they want, they want you, they want to recruit you to their cause so that you, their cause and your cause can mesh and then you can change the world with the causes that you all have embraced. Let's put it that way. So here's the thing. Oh man, this stuff is strong. I don't care. Forgive me, I'm a little bit, you know, done in because, you know, circumstances in people's lives does certain things. Anyway, back to back, back to black men or whatever have you. So this sort of an obligation, here's the, here's the thing. I think what happens, especially with black men, is everybody really wants to recruit black men to their cause. Why? Well, because we just got it that way. You know? We're just really great warriors, let's put it that way, right? But the thing is, nobody want to die. 
<laughs> Sorry, I, mean, I, I didn't mean it that way, but you know, everybody wants to recruit us. Nobody, nobody. The reason why they want to recruit us because they don't want to die. They want us to die in their cause. Let's put it that way. And this is not well. So anyway, because of everything that's happening right now, I was thinking about something. Uh, I go back to again. My, I'm formative by I think the best years for music. Sorry to diss anybody else. For, let's say for 19, a 10 year period, for 1966, 19, a nine year period, for 1966 to 1975. That was, was the best years for music. Okay? I'm just saying this. And uh, somewhere around this, uh, uh, maybe it was a little bit later, New Call of Spinners came out of a song. Well, the, the Philadelphia people, you know, Philadelphia sound, you know, we had the strings, the nice strings, you know, the strings. Every, every time you hear strings, it always pulls your heart strings because what? It reaches to your core. This is why music and art is so important because it reaches to your core. You know, it's not talking to your consciousness, it's talking to your core. And then it informs, your core informs your consciousness. Okay? Okay, do that one. Love Don't Love Nobody is the name of the song, right? And it has, it, it, it has this thing. It takes a fool to learn. Hold on to that, right? Back in the day, you know, the fool of the jester court. Okay, you're, you're, you're into European history, right? You don't know nothing about the African history. Hey, and the court jester could say anything they want. The fool of the court could say anything they want because he was speaking the truth and, and nobody could relate him from speaking the truth because he's the, he's the jester. He's the fool, right? It takes a fool to learn. Think about this. It takes the lowest of the lowest, the stupidest of the stupidest, the people you better to learn that love don't love nobody. Don't love no one. Think about that. What does that mean? Hey, there's so many philosophical songs in the 70s. That I call it the 70s, but you know, that was like really amazing. Anyway, what it means is that, hey, these these folks that keep on trying to manipulate, they're not on our side. And we as fools have got to learn that they might say they love us. They might say they speak for us. They want to do for us. But they don't. They don't love no one. They don't love no one. Like, here's my conjecture. They don't even love themselves. Because they love themselves. They understand they're part of humanity. And you got to save humanity. So... Anyway, so I'm still bummed out about my brother passing. So I'm still get, I'm still drinking. Forgive me for this little intrusion or your, you your know, whatever. I'm, I'm drinking at an undisclosed location here. Someplace in New York. Be well. <laughs>